Hashtag give divas a chance. That was trending worldwide last night on Twitter. And I wasn't going to originally kick off with this, but I just saw these tweets from AJ Lee directed at Stephanie McMahon. Yeah. I thought they are pretty significant. So I want to tweet. I just want to talk about these tweets real quick. She said in the tweets directed towards Stephanie, your female wrestlers have record selling merchandise and have starred in the highest rated segment of the show several times. And yet they receive a fraction of the wages and screen time of the majority of the male roster. Hashtag use your voice. So, Marlon, I'll start with you first. What were your thoughts on the whole hashtag when it started trending worldwide last night? And this, after, of course, came after the very controversial tag team match between the Bella Twins, Paige, and AJ, when the Bella Twins won in, like, 30 seconds or something like that. This started trending worldwide. These tweets are now out on Twitter from AJ herself, of course, mixed in with the whole CM Punk thing right now, that, that lawsuit, which we might get to. But, um, yeah, what are your thoughts on this whole situation? I didn't know it was trending worldwide last night. I just saw it today for the first time, and uh, I was kind of shocked that I seen it trending. It's a nice movement from all the wrestling fans to actually speak their voice because these divas can put on good matches, especially, like I said, Paige and Emma. They're very capable. I got nothing against the Bella Twins. They're good performers, but they're not exactly on the same level as a Paige or an AJ Lee. And just before we got on the show here, yeah, I'd seen AJ's tweets and putting Stephanie McMahon on blast. That's crazy. I don't know how that's going to affect her career, especially during this lawsuit thing, but uh, I'm excited to see what it does. It's been really up in the air right now whether AJ's even going to come back at all. Like, I was thinking, like, set in stone, like, AJ's back. She's going to be back on Sunday or Monday at Fastlane or Monday or on Raw on Monday to help out Paige in her feud with the Bella Twins, which made the most sense, and I still think that could happen because right now there's really no match set in stone for... Um, for WrestleMania for the Divas. Like, last year we didn't even know until, like, the week before they, they, they made it official, the Divas Invitational, Vicky mm-hmm. Gross style. So this year we really have no idea. I still think we might get Paige and AJ versus the Bellas. A match I couldn't Absolutely. really care less about, but, I mean, from a storyline standpoint, it might be okay. We'll see. But, um, yeah, like I was going back to saying what I was saying before, it's really all up in the air right now with the CM Punk lawsuit and him, not, of course, not being on the best of terms with the company or vice versa. Do you think that affected AJ Lee's return? And what are your thoughts, RJ, on this whole hashtag get, uh, give Divas a chance thing? I think it's amazing. I think it's something that needs to be voiced. Like, if you just look at NXT alone, the Divas get chances and they get time to work matches. And they've been putting on a hell of a show down there. Plenty of plenty of people that are in developmental, so you wouldn't expect them to have a great match. But they're putting on a better match than we've seen in the Divas division for probably ten, in 10 years, probably, since Trish and Lita left. I feel like... Um, the Divas have the ability to have good matches. They just get the short end of the stick. Like, two years ago at WrestleMania, they weren't even on the car. They got kicked off. And last year, they barely had a match. It was, like, f- less than five minutes, probably. Right after the streak. Didn't, didn't none of them had an entrance. Yeah, none of them had an entrance. They had to go right after the streak. I was in the building. They were booing the entire match. None of the Divas, even AJ Lee, didn't even get an entrance. And it was just a sloppy match. It just, it just I, I think they need more time. Last night was just a kick kicking the blow to the Divas, like, right after the match started. Uh, just, why even bother? Exactly, just a waste of time. We had other segments that they could have cut down on or just maybe not done and let the Divas have a match. Like, I was excited when I saw Paige and Emma teaming up. I was like, finally, giving Emma and Paige a chance to show what they have, and then they give us this 30-second crap that it's not fair to the Divas, it's not fair to the fans. I think this is when the Divas should voice their opinion. I think Stephanie McMahon and the whole WWE will look at this and say, geez, we have to get... The fans want to see the Divas in action, so we got to give them what they want. Exactly. I could not agree more. I think it was this week a year ago. NXT Arrival. I'm huge with dates here. This week a year ago, NXT Arrival, Paige and Emma having one of the best women's matches I've ever seen. And like you said, the women down in NXT have had some of the best women's matches. I think, like you said, since Trish and Lita, not a single women's match on the main roster comes to mind that has beaten out Paige and Emma, uh, Charlotte and Natalya. Charlotte and Banks, Charlotte and Bailey, that the four-way. Fatal four-way. Right? Yeah, that fatal four-way was amazing. So um, it really Absolutely. does suck. I mean, I feel for the main roster talent. It's not their fault. I mean, Rosa Mendez and Cameron aren't the best <laughs> in-ring athletes. But, I mean, if you put two people in there that the people care about, for the most part, a Paige or a Nikki, and you give them some time and some storyline direction, the whole feud between the Bell Twins and Paige has been, like, I don't really care because there's been real no reason to care aside from so the first match was 30 seconds or something too, right? Ex- With the kiss and everything. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's Survivor Series a couple months ago. The AJ Lee, Lee match. Yeah, a couple months ago at Survivor Series, and that really didn't lead to oh, anything. Yeah. And AJ Lee hasn't been on TV since. But um, And I would love to think that this is leading, and I've been petitioning for this forever. And I wrote an article about this right after the Rumble saying that AJ and Stephanie should have a match at WrestleMania. 
at the time didn't make any sense whatsoever from a storyline standpoint, even though they've teased it a few times. Like, I remember back in September, because you and I have talked about this in the past, RJ, um, she was like, oh, hi, boss lady, and stuff like yeah. that. Like, they've teased it before, so they can kind of go off that, but aside from that, like, recently, like, there, it'd be random. Going off these tweets, there'd be a reason to do it, and the whole punk thing, which I doubt they would mention on TV. Mm -hmm. But um, still, though, it would be awesome, considering we were supposed to get Punk and Triple H last year, now we would get Stephanie and AJ. Yeah, but the thing is, like, what about the other Divas? What about the champion? The champion would not even get on the card. That's so. exactly it. Like, yeah. I don't know what you would do with Paige and Nikki, like, the people that are actually getting ring uh, like TV time right exactly. now. Stephanie hasn't really been doing much. The She's tweets not... could even be a work, too. Who knows? They could very well be a work, exactly. And, I mean, it's weird, because, like, I would love to think, like I said, that this is setting up something for WrestleMania, but... The timing of that tweet and the hashtag give Almost Divas a chance late. thing, um, you know, it's just really weird. So maybe it is a work, and if it is, it's like the most brilliant timing ever because people are, are so frustrated over the women right now. But, um, yeah, so I'll ask you quickly, RJ, what do you see happening for the women at WrestleMania? We talk about our Bray Wyatt Undertakers, our Lesnar and Roman Reigns. What do you see happening for the women at WrestleMania? I'm hoping for a fatal flyaway with the Bellas against each other with Paige and AJ Lee, I think. That makes sense. They could go back on the whole Brie being Nikki's like assistant. AJ could be pissed because Brie screwed her over in the Survivor Series match. And then Paige could do the same thing with them screwing her in her matches. And then Nikki's kind of like the, I don't know, she's the champion, obviously. But I think that would make a lot of sense. Instead of having all the divas in a stupid battle royal that no one could care about. And hopefully, if they gave this match time, it could be, it could be really good, I think. And the only three women to have held that Divas Championship in the last year since last year at WrestleMania, AJ, Paige, and Nikki. And then, of course, you said the history there with um, Brie and Nikki and everything else. And th this was the match I thought we were going to see at Night of Champions. Remember, Brie was kept out of it and it was a triple threat, which was a great triple threat. Once again, going to show that if they're given time and a story, even though that story sucked between the Bellas, they gave it some time to develop. And maybe we could see the same thing at WrestleMania. So I would love to think that AJ is coming back. I still say that there is a chance of that happening. I'm not going to say that she's completely, um, you know, gone from the company. Otherwise, she probably wouldn't have written that. But um, that said, Marlon, I want to get your thoughts on what do you think the Divas Championship or Divas match will be at WrestleMania, if there even might be one? At this point, it's hard to even imagine if there's even going to be one. I mean, just the way they've been booked, there's no story going on. All it is is the Bellas are making fun of Paige. Um... Maybe, yeah, a tag team if AJ comes back is the only thing I could see, AJ and Paige versus the Bellas. I don't even think it'll be for the title or anything. That doesn't matter. and It's just kind of out there. The title doesn't matter in any of the matches, really. I kind of thought Paige would uh, revitalize the Divas roster when she debuted uh, last year, two years ago, or whatever it was. But she's been kind of just booked the same way as the Bellas and all the other Divas where it doesn't matter. Exactly. They haven't made me care about it. Exactly, exactly. And that kind of goes back to the same feud that they had with AJ and Paige about a year ago. Everyone got their hopes up. I thought it was going to be amazing. It has. It goes back to that same word, potential. Like, it had the potential to be great. Paige had the potential to, quote-unquote, save the Divas division. But at the end of the day, it's still the then same people. all they people. do instead of having a real feud is make them into lesbians. It's like, that's exactly. obviously fake. Like, it's... <laughs> Exactly. Like, that's not a real storyline. They were really night and day with that whole AJ Page feud. Like, they're lesbians, they're best friends, they're enemies, they're back to being best friends. Like, it didn't make any sense. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, it's the same people writing this crap every single week. You got your writing team for NXT, and then you got your writing team for the women on main roster. Like, I don't know if it's going to change, because Stone Cold brought it up in the podcast, Triple H, a couple weeks ago. He said... Why aren't you giving the women more time? I love what they're doing down in NXT, but on the main roster, you're not giving them the, the time of day. And he said he agrees. He's a big fan of the women, but at the end of the day, he's not the one making the call. It's Vinny Mac. So uh, maybe we see a change going forward. I don't know if it's going to be like overnight with this whole you know hashtag thing. I don't, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But I look forward to what happens with the Divas going forward.